The last three generations here in America have experienced prosperity and abundance with regard to the necessities of life that is unprecedented in the entire history of mankind. Most of us are fortunate only to have to expend a small portion of our earnings from employment on food. In much of the rest of the world, and even with the difficult economic times in America, many people find it necessary to expend almost, if not all, their energy and resources just to provide the food to sustain themselves each day. The current American family generation, unless they've seen personal hard times, almost scoff at the idea, suggested by their grandparents and great-grandparents, that it would be wise to have a savings account in the bank, and even more important, to have a food savings account, a reserve stored away for possible hard times. It's difficult for them to believe that there could be a shortage of food. After all, the grocery store shelves are full, and the only challenge is that food prices are skyrocketing. It seems that most Americans assume that the only need for a food reserve would be in the case of some natural disaster like a hurricane, a wildfire, an earthquake, or, of recent concern, a possible epidemic. And, unfortunately, most of us think like the average invincible teenager that none of these things will actually happen to us. Very few people realize that one of the main causes of food prices rising so quickly is the food shortage both worldwide and in the United States. Folks tend to assume, as the old saying goes, if the dog ain't biting me, then dogs don't bite. Unfortunately, the dogs of economic, political, and natural disaster are biting every one of us. It's just a matter of degree as to how each of us is forced to adjust to the pain. The extent to which we're dependent is the extent to which we have given power over ourselves to that on which we depend. Every fear that we as human beings can experience is somehow connected to a threat to a dependency. Think about some of those dependencies that are threatened. Millions of Americans are losing their homes and the numbers are increasing as the depression deepens. Millions of Americans are losing their jobs. There are serious climactic changes and natural disasters occurring with significantly greater frequency that many believe are the result of the planets aligning themselves in their multi-thousand year cycles. Food prices are inflating to the point where millions of Americans are unable to afford food even though they still have jobs. The threat of epidemic arises from time to time and is addressed in the Second Patriot Act in the requirement that in a state of an emergency, if a family is unable to show capability of sustaining themselves without help for at least 30 days, they will be required to relocate to a gathering center. And the list goes on and on with each fear that we can have being generated by a dependency that is threatened. I know that I'm going to sound like a one-string banjo at this point, but if you think about it, the answer to all of these concerns is to become fearless by taking control of the one single most important and greatest dependency we have, food. A savings account in food can freeze its cost against inflation. It will guarantee, by actual possession, the availability in times of shortage. A supply of food is the best insurance against loss of income. And your food savings account can literally turn a disaster into an adventure through preparedness. Yes, a supply of food is the greatest step toward fearlessness and independence a human being can take. It's my personal belief that it's the moral responsibility and the patriotic duty of every one of us who can to provide for our own necessities so that the government relief and private charitable organizations are free to care for those who are unable to care for themselves. Our lives seem to be somewhat predictable. It's pretty much a good guess that when we are in good times, that some tough times will shortly follow. And when we are in tough times, good times will shortly follow. The magnificent thing about a savings account and food is that it allows us to fearlessly face both the good times and the tough times of the exciting but uncertain future, and the fearless independence that is in fact the great American dream.